Four days before kickoff, a caravan of production trucks for NBC's Sunday Night Football roll into Miami's Hard Rock Stadium. It's the start of a breakneck pace for the entire SNF crew. I think a lot of folks who watch Sunday Night Football probably think you guys just show up and you start riffing. There's a lot of prep that goes into this. No days off? Yeah. January 23rd. That's the day after our last playoff game. That's the next day off. The announced team of Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, and sideline reporter Melissa Stark arrived to the host city days before the game. This weekend, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Miami Dolphins. But as the host city, the on-air trio, along with director Drew Esikoff and head producer Rob Hyland, spend the day with the Dolphins at their last big practice before the big primetime game. You don't get to see him practice in person very often. So the joy of Friday is this is the one chance without the rest of the media for us to get to see the teams and really get a sense of what they're doing, what guys look like. It's also a chance to spend time with Miami's head coach, Mike McDaniel. That was my playbook. And Dolphins quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa. How you doing, Beast? Tua, Good How see you doing, man? What's up, guys? Who returns to the field three weeks after sustaining a concussion. A hard-to-watch injury that drew renewed attention to player safety in the NFL. These young people, they have something they want to tell you. You just have to kind of figure out what it is. And they believe that you're going to tell America their story in the right way. The announcers spend several meetings going over the players' stories they've been entrusted with and other themes for the game. For the Dolphins, again, there's a lot of layers to Tua. Uh, I will hit it in the open. Melissa's going to hit it. The production team meticulously goes over every detail. You're prepared for every contingency, it would say. Until it's time to head to the stadium. Drew Essikoff has directed all 17 seasons of Sunday Night Football. You're making split-second decisions nonstop for more than three hours yeah. straight every week. How do you handle that? I listen to Mike, listen to Chris, listen to Melissa. And if I can make their words match the video that I'm putting on TV, mission accomplished. Drew also introduced us to their team's secret weapon. Just a little sampler. Head engineer and personal chef, Mark DeChico, who cooks a full meal for the entire crew while making sure the broadcast runs seamlessly. Dude, yeah. we gotta get you in 1A. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the job? Uh, I think working with this group. Yeah. You have to love the people. You know it. Yes, you travel. You so if you're on the road as much as we are, yeah. you have to like the people. Uh, so the camaraderie, because they kind of, as, as much as we have families at home, yeah. this kind of becomes your second family. What's the hardest part of the job? Trying to be a, 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 a parent, a normal human being away from this job. That's the hard part. Um, the game, though, that's the fun part. And we're moments away from the fun part. But first, Mike and Chris gave me a tour of their home away from home. This is where the magic happens? For this weekend, anyway. But here's the ultimate test. Oh, yeah. The Telestrator, man. You worry? This is bucket list here. I can retire now. And finally, it was kickoff time for not just two football teams on the field, but the Sunday night football team who worked tirelessly to bring you the biggest game of the week. Three, two, one. Play 96, take track. How cool, Craig. Yeah. I mean, guys, it, it it was a lot of fun. It's such, such a sight to behold. We're talking somewhere between 150, 200 people, and it's, it's like this traveling circus. I mean, <laughs> they're already on their way to Buffalo as we speak. That's where the game is next Sunday. But seeing it up close, mm -hmm. you, you develop a new appreciation uh, for our colleagues over on the sports side. Yeah, when you look yeah. at it, just so people know, like that control room where you were in there and having the chili or whatever, yeah. like that's on, that's a truck. That's an 18-wheeler yeah. trailer. Into, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Rolls into all these different places. Yeah. It's just it's incredible crazy. to see how they pull that off week after week. And that doesn't even include football night in America. And, and, you know, it's um, yeah. right before. Yeah. And SG, he, Here's the, here's the thing. You mentioned that truck. They've got six of those, six of those tractor yep. trailers that crisscross the country for 17 weeks and, you know, then the playoffs as well. It's a, uh, it really is up close. It's, it's something. By the way, and we all love Tariqa. We all love Chris Collinsworth and Melissa. The preparation that those guys do every week, yeah. I didn't fully appreciate it until you see it up close. Especially Tariqa. He's got some sort of 
like weird system with squares and it's color coded. And I said to him yesterday, I was like, buddy, this is like something out of a beautiful mind. Like, there's, <laughs> like if anyone else picked it up, they, they would not know what that foreign language was that Mike Tirico has created for himself. Wow. Oh. They work so hard and make yeah. it look effortless, that's, but that's exactly the hard work. That was awesome, Craig. Good job. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.